Oh, hi. I'm David Barzilay. I'm a 2016 Star Chef's Rising Star Chef. We're here at my restaurant, Lazy Bear, in San Francisco, next to the Roaring Fire. I'm going to cook for you today a new potato fondue with morels and fiends herbs on the Breville PolyScience Control Freak. I love doing a fondue because my whole restaurant's formatted after a dinner party, and mid a fondue is like a mid-century dinner party staple. This one is a little bit different, so let's go cook. I'm making fried baby kale chips. I've got some baby lachinato kale here, and I'm using the control freak. Normally for deep frying, I would use probe control, uh, but in this case, these are gonna bubble up like crazy as soon as I drop them. So I'm using pan control so that I can put a lid on the pan immediately when I throw the, the kale in. So I've got my fried baby kale program set up uh, with a 30 second timer. So as soon as I drop these, I'm gonna hit my uh, control knob and it's gonna start a 30 second timer. All right, my timer went off, so I'm gonna hit that to stop the timer. And the kale chips look about done. And I'm just going to scoop them out. We got our kale chips done, so we're gonna move on to blanching some peas. We've got a rolling boil going on, and I actually made a rolling boil program just to keep it up at a rolling boil. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop the peas in. We're gonna take a couple minutes to uh, fully cook, so I'm just gonna kinda stir them occasionally and keep an eye on them. All right, the peas are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them off the heat. The typical rule is that they need to sit in the ice for about as long as they were in the boiling water. All right, we have our blanched peas. So we're gonna go ahead and make our fondue now. I'm making our fondue, which is essentially a cheese sauce that's stabilized using potato starch from a potato puree, as well as gelon gum. Uh, gelon is a hydrocolloid that needs to hydrate at a very specific temperature. So uh, the control freak is perfect for hydrating that gelon. I've got a blender here with some, what we call potatoes baragool. So essentially we've just cooked some potato in white wine, cream, garlic, and I've already done that. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend it together. I have a vortex going in the blender, so my potatoes are nice and smooth. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle in my gelon and then blend it on high to disperse the gum. Now I've got some cream. I'm going to throw that into the blender and uh, blend it with the potato puree that already has the gelon dispersed in it. Okay, my cream pretty well mixed into my potato puree, so I'm going to go ahead and pour that into my saucepan and use my gelon program that I preset in order to hydrate that gelon. I'm going to plug in my probe uh, in order to use probe control with the control freak. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the control freak. I'm gonna select my Jalon program and then set it to probe control. And I've got my probe in there, so it's gonna bring it up to 205 Fahrenheit, which is just above the temperature at which Jalon hydrates. So when it reaches that temperature, I can be absolutely certain that my Jalon will have hydrated. I have the program set to to uh, keep it going until it's been at 205 for 45 seconds. That way I can be absolutely certain that at a microscopic level, essentially, every bit of the mixture reached the set temperature. So I'm gonna take my cheese, I've got some nice aged cheddar here, and I'm gonna put that into the blender. Then I am gonna go ahead and disengage the probe. I'm gonna pour this mixture straight into the blender. And we go ahead and blend together my fondue. I've got morel mushrooms, some brandy, and some cream. The morels have already been uh, sauteed to the point where they got like slightly crispy. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my saute program, which is basically just gonna give me a really high, even heat. I'm putting the morels into the pan. Now the cool thing about the Control Freak, because it has a sensor underneath the pan, it can tell whether the pan's on there or not. So I can pick it up and toss my, my morels uh, in a way that you can't with most induction burners. It'll just put the heat right back on. It's not gonna beep at me. It just knows whether the pan's there or not. All right, I've got some brandy in the pan. It's come up to a boil. Flame it off a bit. I don't wanna completely cook it out because I want some of that alcohol flavor left in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my cream now and a little bit of salt there too. Now I'm just gonna reduce that cream until it starts to glaze those mushrooms really nicely. All right, I have my double fried morels pretty much done now. Um, they've gotten a little bit of crisp on them and you can see all that, all those brown bits that are on them. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them out of the pan. I've transferred the morels to a clean pan. I'm gonna give them a final seasoning. They look well cooked. All of our mise is done. We're gonna go ahead and assemble the dish now. All right, I'm gonna start with some peas and then some potatoes. Nice little tiny marble potatoes that we just uh, cooked sous vide, but at a full boil. Just a little bit of butter and potatoes. I'm gonna add my mushrooms. Now I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of lemon zest. Uh, just adds a little bit of brightness to the dish. And then I'm gonna completely bathe all of those components in my fondue. And next, 
I am going to take my Fiend's Herb Powder. It's dill, parsley, and tarragon that we've dried and then ground up. And I'm going to completely cover it so that it just covers it all with like a matte green, mossy kind of look. Uh, I'm going to go some pea shoots to echo the peas that are at the bottom. And next, I'm going to add these kale chips that we made. Really delicate. They add a nice little crunch and a kind of uh, different kind of fattiness to the flavor. And then I've got two final things that I'm going to add. One, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, these chive blossoms, really pretty purple chive blossoms, a little punch of allium note. And lastly, just a little bit, one petal essentially of uh, sweet pea blossom. It's a nice little color. So this is a new potato fondue made with the Breville PolyScience Control Freak.